Hello there. In this video, I'm going to talk about what a wave function is in a good bit of detail. If you'd like to follow me on the internet, well then, here's how you do that. And I'd like to draw your attention to Patreon. So if you like what I do and you'd like that I continue doing it, uh, Patreon is the place you can support me in doing so. Now, I've already recorded and published a nine minute video for beginners about what a wave function is. I strongly suggest that you check that video out before you watch the video here because the, the concepts, I'm, I'm kind of building them incrementally. That said, there are four basic concepts that we really need to understand in order to understand a wave function. And I'm gonna give them a bit of time in this video. So first of all, I'm just gonna tell you what they are, then I'll get a bit of detail on them, and then we'll talk about a wave function. So let's get started. The first thing you need to know about is how to express an arbitrary vector in 3D Euclidean space using the basis states i hat, j hat, and k hat. And also to be able to use the inner product to re-express the coefficients a sub x, a sub y, and a sub z. You need to know about the concept of expressing or decomposing a state using a linear combination of basis states. So for example, here are the the eigenstates of the infinite potential well, which I'm using to take a linear combination to describe an arbitrary state. Topic three that you'll need to know about is basically what a ket is. And this is actually how we take a linear combination of basis kets in order to describe an arbitrary abstract quantum state. And if you're familiar with this sort of Dirac notation, that is very important also. And the final background topic will be operators and eigenvalue equations. So here is a typical eigenvalue equation associated with a quantum operator. And you'll need to know, for example, that the eigenstates of, uh, uh, excuse me, the eigenstates in an eigenvalue equation associated with an operator are Hermitian, and that the a sub n's are the eigenvalues associated with the Hermitian operator. But we'll come back to that. So let's start talking about those four background topics in a bit of detail.